This is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. Today's segment of it deals with obstructive sleep apnea, OSA and obesity. We certainly know that the OSA condition is a multifactorial condition in terms of etiologic diagnosis, meaning that the cause and the origin of the cause where it started, but also uh, involving other organs in terms of secondary manifestations or risks, for instance, risk factors incorporated with the actual presentation of the condition. That means that there there's an aspect of, for instance, obesity um, as a manifestation um, that certainly can exacerbate, if not contribute, to the uh, severity of the condition. We know that uh, there is a neurological um, a variable that is being, in, uh, of course, um, contributed to, to this particular diagnosis, as well as a, a muscle component. Uh, the airway space as well um, has been um, noted as having contributions in terms of having access to oxygenation. And also with time, there's a variable in terms of how the condition actually manifests if not treated appropriately at the right time. We certainly always recommend early intervention, early diagnosis, and for more additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at www.dclaserdentist.com.